Hey, I got Nick. all three tabs up on you. And Nick, uh, if you got a second before you close the thermal cover there, uh, we're looking for a visual inspection of the thermal cover for any water discoloration or residue as well. Yeah, and I didn't see anything. You see anything on your side? I don't see anything on my side. Yeah, and even on the, uh, the surface where the thermal cover adheres to on the bottom of the airlock, I don't see anything. Me neither. Okay, Cappy, we're go to continue. You can uh, close the thermal cover when you're ready, and then uh, both of you can take your HECAs to on. I see your HECAs on. Okay, and I see your green light. Mm -hmm. um, we'll just start with buddy check. Yep. So I see a green light. You got the, both your uh, helmet lights are on. That's good. Um, I saw one, two, three taps are up. Uh, your, your safety tethers are in a good config. You've got a waist tether down. Um, the safety tether comes in front of your BRT, so when you push that behind, it's in a good spot. Yep. Uh, the rest of your tools, like they're in a good spot. Hey, I see your HECA on. I see one, two, three tabs up. I see your safety handles are on, which is good. Yep. I see your tethers, the tether on your right-hand side, and you are on your MIDI workstation end effector, and I see you are... Uh, BRT to your large ORU bag as well as tethered. And uh, can you rotate a little bit? And an ISO valve is down, so both your safer handles are down as well. Yep. Uh, my HAP is no change. It is dry. My HAP is no change and dry. All right, that's good checks, both crew. Uh, we can start our translation now. So Nick, you're gonna lead and head out to the S0 port wedge face. Let me know if you uh, want some mile markers along the way. And then Sunny, you're gonna follow to the starboard seat of cart. And I'm gonna give Nick a little bit of chance to get over to the port side before he start up. There you heard great communication between NASA astronauts Nick Hague and Sonny Williams as they have exited the Quest airlock and did buddy checks to make sure everything was A-OK -okay before beginning their motions to move across the International Space Station and begin their first planned task of the day, the remove and replace of the rate gyro assembly unit number two that helps provide orientation data on the International Space Station. From this field of view, Nick Haig, you can see lightly those red stripes on the top of his backpack. He will be in the now top left part of the screen, and Sonny Williams right behind him. She is in the unmarked spacesuit for today's EVA. And while they make their way across, flight controllers have given the command to power down the rate gyro assembly at number two as both Nick Hague and Sonny Williams make their way over to that portion of the International Space Station trust system. And again, that rate gyro to remove and replace provides orientation data on all three axes of the International Space Station. That is today's priority task of U.S. Spacewalk number 91. Six, coming up to phase one. Happy Nick, uh, as you go over the top, I have a couple of cautions specific to you. Uh, remember, you want to avoid contact with the GPS antennas and then avoid loading the NZGL cable and connectors on that HAB tray on the back side of the truck. Okay. Understand all. Nick, I see you heading forward. I'm going to start heading up. I think that's enough that my six tether will stay out of your way now. Yep. I see it anyway. I will watch it.
We are approaching 19 minutes into today's EBA activities as NASA astronauts Nick Hague and Sonny Williams continue to communicate as they make their way over to the first task of the EBA, which is to remove and replace the rate gyro assembly unit number two that has been given the command to be powered down in anticipation of this remove and replace. And this is all part of the ISS assembly maintenance and upgrades for today's planned four tasks. This is the first of those four. That is astronaut Nick Haig in the red stripes moving into position with Sonny Williams. Closely following behind is the International Space Station currently in an orbital nighttime. Crossing over your each other, I see if you're in front of me. Yes. And there is a great look at Expedition 72 Commander Sonny Williams with Nick Haig just above her on the truss of the International Space Station. Translating across that truss to begin work on the rate gyro assembly unit number two replacement. I'm over on the seat of cart, Jeff. A firm, uh, Sonny, you're going to head out to the starboard seat of cart, and once you're there, uh, you can stow crew lock bag one on any of the uh, seat of cart square grids. We're going to have you do uh, an APFR task. Okay. Look. Jeff, I'm at uh, 3519 for the uh, location. Awesome. Yep, you're going to stow one end of your mini workstation RET on that handrail for the failed RGA, and then you can uh, continue moving down. You want to uh, avoid contact with that S0 app based radiator as well. And I see the shiny surface. Just hook down on 3519 with one end of the rip. They're in just free. Cappy Nick, uh, your next step here is going to be to open the RGA uh, 2 thermal shroud. As you move down, you're going to be peeling that port to starboard and then releasing the Velcro from under handrail uh, 3520, which is that handrail where your, where your work site is. Yeah, good work. Okay, getting the select bag is connected. I'm just getting it off of me. Huh? Cappy Sunny, let me know when you're ready for words for the APFR relocate. Okay, I'm ready for words. Okay, you're going to relocate the APFR uh, from the WIFX that's currently in WIF 1, and you're just moving the APFR only to WIF 4. Okay. Got a tether on it. Copy. So just the APFR, WIF 4, which is the one on the top. Wait. That's the one in the middle. Uh, WIF 4 is going to be the one on the top and, or sorry, it's actually going to be port side of the starboard seat of cart. Yep. Port and, and hot up. Yeah, A firm, that's a good read back. And then uh, you're looking for a clocking of three, and then I have the other settings for you when you're ready. Clocking of three. 
23 and a half minutes into today's EVA, you're seeing Sonny Williams adjusting the portable foot restraint and systems in preparation you, uh, for today's first for task of US EVA number 91, the removal and replacement of rate gyro assembly number two. For Sonny Williams, this is EVA, her eighth spacewalk into the vacuum of space, nearly uh, more than 18 years after her first. As for Nick Haig, this is his fourth, and he will be seen in red stripes on his suit. Uh, his first since August of 2019. Yeah. Okay. Hand drill 3520. Uh, All eyes open. I see our RGA. To work on Tim Stowing or uh, or who are you back? Yeah, copy Nick um, that you're down there at 3520. Uh, you can attach the other end of that pre-staged RET to the failed RGA oh, now and get that off your uh, mini workstation. Right, they got the collar to move, Jeff. Maybe I'm not getting it far enough. Cappy Sunny, you're getting the collar to move, but uh, but just to understand, you're not able to pull the uh, the APFR out, like the paddles aren't depressing. Yeah, I think I have to get to the black line to the yellow line. I'm not getting it over there. It's not allowing the paddles to be depressed. Thing. Yeah, Cappy Sunny. Um, hey, the if the collar the should be the all the way black on uh, black on white or black on yellow in this case. Yeah. And I copy Nick about the ret. You can uh, uh, temp stow the large ORU bag on that S zero wedge face now. Work. I don't know if you can see it in my heck of it, that's as far as I can get the collar. Yeah. Not all the way to the white. Cappy Sunny, actually it looks like uh, we might have bumped the heck of there, so if you could turn that back on, we'll uh, we'll see what you're looking at. Oh, yep, sure. Yeah. Okay. You back with me? You there? Uh, we're back with you. Sunny. Okay. okay. This is NASA astronaut Sonny Williams configuring a portable foot restraint outside of the International Space Station in preparation yeah, for today's first task of U.S. Spacewalk number 91. We heard earlier on the comms that her partner in this EVA, Nick Haig, has reached the rate gyro assembly, which will be removed and replaced. And that 